Hey folks, welcome to another how to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to find random numbers in this particular model of the Casio calculator. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, switch on the calculator. We're going to go into menu, go into the first menu, which is the run menu. And in here, we need to click on option. Once you click on option, you're going to get a whole lot of uh, little menus here. We're going to click on F6, which is going to take you to the next set of menus. And in there, we've got this menu called Prob, which is F3. So we're going to click on that. And then as you can see, there is a button that says Rand, which is F4. We're going to click on F4 and you're going to get uh, a few little few more menus popping up. So we're going to click on F1, which is the random hash. Now, when we click on this, we are going to get random numbers. And as you can see, Rand hash actually gives you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten decimal places, um, anywhere between 10 decimal places. So what we can kind of see here is that when we use random number, just the Rand hash, so that is up to 10 DP. But let's say we want to find a random number between, uh, I don't know, 40 and 50. So in that case, what we're going to do is we're gonna click on F2, as you can see, which says INT. Now that's for a random integer. So when we click on F2, it's going to say random integer number. So we now need to tell uh, the smallest number and the largest number. Now I'd like to find a random set of random numbers between 40 and 50. So I'm going to put in 40 and I'm going to put the comma here and I'm going to put 50. Then I'm going to close the brackets. And if I press equals, I should get a random number that is actually between 40 and 50 and I can just keep going. So just remember folks that if you want to find a random integer between two numbers, then you actually have to use um, the random integer number, which is the F2 option. And if you just want a random number up to 10 decimal places, then you would use random hash. All right, folks, that basically is how you find random numbers in this particular calculator.